We're getting creative with pumpkin, and we're teaching you how to make your own pumpkin spice latte, a way more affordable way than going to the coffee shop Absolutely. every day to get one, because this is the time of year. People get so excited when they see the sign for the pumpkin spice latte. Absolutely, and it's like a tradition, and I fall right into it. My sister and I, we love trying to see who can be the first to get our pumpkin spice lattes, but I have to tell you, Candace, I have really started um, cutting back on sugar, okay. and this year when I got my latte, I was disappointed. It was so sweet, and it just didn't provide the satisfaction and just that feeling of accomplishment and beating my sister and, you know, all that good stuff. But it usually so, did. So we're going to show people how to make their own syrup yes. that they add to coffee to make yes. a pumpkin spice no latte. No preservatives, no artificial colors or anything. Super simple. Okay. In fact, I've started the uh, simple syrup for us and it's brown sugar, granulated sugar, and water. And it makes this rich colored syrup. Okay. And then you're going to add the, um, just go ahead and add the uh, pumpkin pie spices, that's ginger, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. cloves. Yes, it's already it. smelling good. Okay. And this is pumpkin puree. Now, um, all of the recipes that I developed, I use the canned pumpkin puree. Typically, I will actually roast my own pumpkin, and you can do that, but I figured most people would go this yeah, route. Yeah, I go the short route. Mm -hmm. So, we'll do it this way. Okay. And then, this has to cook for about eight minutes, and what and happens... boil it or just let it simmer? Um, it has to cook on low because you low. don't want the Okay. pumpkin to actually cook it changes the um, flavor and okay. the and the um, the smell of it but you can already smell how wonderful this is oh my like goodness mullet, you know cider it does it really yeah. does and so the pumpkin just adds a real soft um, flavor to this all these spices will infuse into this syrup then what happens we cool this syrup to room temperature okay. and then we add four teaspoons of vanilla after and it's cool after it's cool okay. because vanilla is in an alcohol base and if we add it while it's hot the alcohol will evaporate okay. and our vanilla literally will go up in thin air and this is what it looks like when you're finished you can yes. put it in a bottle and you say this keeps for three months in the fridge yes and a month at room temperature okay so it's so a you great get a lot of use out of this oh absolutely okay. So this is a great hostess gift. Yeah. I've got pumpkin curd here. This is another creative use, a great hostess gift again. And I made some pumpkin blondies with cranberry and white chocolate and pumpkin fudge. Ooh, that sounds so good. These recipes uses. we can send folks, but Absolutely. we'll also tell you on our website how to make this pumpkin latte. So if we're yeah. going to put one together, we have sure. our cup of coffee here. Yes, and a latte is actually a shot of espresso. If you use coffee like I typically do, then technically it's called a... Um, Ole, okay. a cafe ole. Cafe and this is my frother, and I picked this up at World Market a few years ago. You can find them at Williams Sonoma on Amazon at World Market. The frother <laughs> makes the texture different, and it, yes. it's, it's wonderful. We have yeah. a co worker who brings her frother in when she works the morning shift. <laughs> And we all drink three times more coffee because she oh, makes it yeah, with the Yeah, it's so special. And the trick here is to use 2% milk or low-fat milk, and you get more um, bubbles. Okay. You get more froth. Airy. Okay. Yes. So why don't you add a jigger of um, our syrup. So up to the top line? Um, actually, the middle line. And that's middle about line. a tablespoon and a half, and that's still less than what Starbucks uses. And it will perfume this. perfectly sweet. It will. It, okay. it will be perfectly sweet. And then we will add... so. Um, for this, I, it's about 40% coffee, and this will be about 60% milk. And the milk will come out, and the foam. Yum. Okay. And then we'll top it off with a little sprinkle of some uh, fresh cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And, and there, there we have, have it. it. And so it you, can, you can have your pumpkin spice latte every morning without okay. the pain on the wallet. <laughs> All right, we'll have the information on how to do this on our website, WDRV.com. And when we come back in a little while, Janine's going to show us some savory ideas for oh, pumpkin. Oh, yes. What yes. are you going to make? Mac and cheese. Pumpkin mac and cheese. Yes. I'm skeptical, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm telling you, it's a great way to sneak pumpkin into okay. mac and cheese. All right, we'll try it. Yeah.